I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2017 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 6. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 6. So this is question 6 and this question is testing us on graph and pie chart, okay? So let's read the question first. The pie chart below shows how Sue spent her money. The amount of money spent is also represented by the bar graph below. The bars for the amount of money spent on the meals and transport have not been drawn. So here is the pie chart and here is the bar graph. Okay. So we are going to do part A first. So let me read part A. Part A. What percentage of our money was spent on clothes? So this is part A. Okay. So now that we read the question, Let's highlight the key information, right? Okay, the first two lines are not really that important, but the third line, it's kind of important, okay? So, the bars for the amount of money spent on meals and transport are not drawn, okay? So, they are not drawn. Look at it. See? It's not drawn for meals and transport. Okay. So, now let's highlight the key information for part E. So, they are asking us the percentage of they are asking us what percentage of her money was spent on the clothes okay so now that we have highlighted the key information let's analyze the pie chart and the bar graph okay so this is the pie chart over here so the meals is half so basically when this is half of it the other side is also half right because it's a circle so basically, when we take one whole minus half, we still get half. That is why this other side is also half. Okay, so the clothes plus transport plus books is half. But the only information we know is the clothes value and the meals value. The meals is half and the clothes is one fifth. Okay, so now that we have got that, now let's move on to the bar graph. Okay, the bar graph is telling us that the amount of money spent in dollars okay this is in dollars okay so it's in dollars so here what is the books value okay there is the books we already know the value because they are telling us it is 50 see it's straight onto 50 over here so the books it is 50 okay so let me write that more clearer so that you can understand okay so the books is 50 okay okay so now since meals and transport are not drawn right we should know the clothes how do we find the clothes the clothes is in the middle we don't really have a value how do we find it okay remember i said in order to find one line how do we do that in order to find one line so one line is basically like this so this is one line this is one line this is another line this is another line so between 50 and 0 there are four lines okay so in order to find one line we have to use these values 50 and 0 so first we find the difference between 50 and 0 so 50 minus 0 is still 50 okay next we count the number of gaps so there is one gap over here two gaps three gaps four gaps and five gaps in order to find the value of each line we need to take the difference divided by the number of gaps. So the difference is basically 50. So we divided it by 5 gaps. Okay, so 50 divided by 5. Do your mental calculation and you should get 10. So each line is 10. Okay? Okay, so I hope you understand that. Each line is 10. Okay. So now... The clothes is three lines above the books. So basically, let's look at it. So one line above, two line above, three lines. Okay, so each line is 10, right? So basically take 50 plus 10, okay? 50 plus 10 in order to get the first line, which is 60. Then it's just the 10 times table. So it's always the 10 times table, okay? So 50, after that 60, 70, and 80. So the clothes is... 80 yes we got it so i hope you understand what i've explained over here so we know the actual value of the books so the books is 50 dollars and the clothes is 80 dollars remember 
the amount of money spent in dollars so this is why it's dollars okay so how so i hope you understand my explanation so now they are still asking us what percentage of our money was spent on clothes the clothes is one fifth right and the whole pie chart is 100 percent so in order to find the percentage of the clothes we basically take one fifth times 100 percent okay so it will give us 20 percent so 20 percent is the answer for part a okay so for part a we are using the pie chart because we already have the value of the clothes over here as one fifth and over here we can't use the clothes and the bar graph because we do not have the total value of the meals and the transport altogether so that is why we cannot use the trans uh, the bar the, the bar graph okay so i hope you understand that so now let's read part b so part b they're telling us that what fraction of our money was spent on books and they are telling us to express our answer in the simplest form okay so let's highlight the key information so they're asking us what fraction of her money of her money what fraction of her money was spent on books so we are supposed to express our answer in the simplest form so remember if you do not express your answer in the simplest form that's it no marks except for the method mark okay so now the fraction of her money was spent on books okay the only place where we know the value of the books is basically here 50 okay so basically we need to know the total amount right if the clothes is one fifth and one fifth is equal to 80 right so so basically in order to find one whole which is five over five we take 80 dollars times five which is 400 dollars in order to find the fraction of the money spent on books we basically take the value of the books 50 over 400 dollars and then we simplify it okay which will give us one eight as our answer for part b yes i hope you understand my explanation for part b now so if you understood let's move on to part c okay so let's read question part c first so this is part c draw the bars for the amount of money spent on the meals and transport in the graph so we are supposed to draw the amount in the graph okay so Let's highlight the key information. They're telling us to draw bars for the amount of money spent on the meals and transport. Okay. So, first, I'm going to take half minus one fifth. Do you know why? Because if this side is half, this other side is also half. So, I'm basically finding the total value of the transport plus books. Okay. I'm finding the fraction of them both together so it's basically 310 so if this is 310 one fifth is supposed to be 2 over 10 right do you know why i'm making it into a common denominator okay so that we can compare easily so basically half is how much three units plus two units so half is five units okay so half is five units so the muse is basically five units the clothes is basically two units and the books and the transport is three units okay this is all together the three units okay so i hope you understand that so first we find out for the meals so we know that meals is five units right but what is actually one unit but we do not know one unit but we know two units yes two units over here Two units is one fifth and this represents the this represents the what the clothes yes the clothes so basically two units i'm taking the numerator okay so basically two units is equal to 80. wow now it's really easy to solve the question so now we just need to find one unit which is 80 divided by 2 which is 40 and after that we need to find mu's half a half right what is half I've written down over here i hope you can see it. five units yes five units it's really easy to find so now that we know one unit we can take in order to find five units we just take two units plus three units is five units right so in order to find five units we basically take 40 times 5 which is 200 so 200 is the answer for part c okay so let's draw in 
the mills. So even if you get this right, don't forget to draw it in. If not, you only get the meta marks. You don't get the answer mark. You need the answer mark as well. So you gotta draw it in. So here is the 200 line. Okay. If you can't see clearly, here is the 200 line. Okay. Wow. You see that? So now that we have drawn it, I'm just going to label so that we can refer to it. Okay. Now we need to find the transport, right? The transport. So where is transport? The transport is over here. Okay. So how do we find the transport? It's really easy, right? We already know the total amount of money. See over here? Remember? 80 times 5. 400. 400 is the total, right? We already know three of them. How, how high is it going to be? to find transport. So we basically take 400 minus books, minus clothes, minus meals, right? So it's basically 200 minus 80 minus 50. Okay, so 70 is the answer. So okay, you understand that? So basically we're taking 200 minus 80 minus 50 because half is 200, right? Half is 200, right? And we already know the clothes the value and the book's value. So in order to find transport, we just need to take 200, which is half value. Do you know why it's 200 half? Because we know that one, the mules is half, right? It's 200, right? We found it out. So the other half is also equal to the half. So basically it's 200 as well. So that is why I'm taking 200 minus 80, which is one fifth minus 50, which is one eight. So we got 70 as the answer for part C. But remember, we got to draw it in as well. So here is 70. Okay, 70 is really easy, right? I can use the books as a reference. So in order to get 70, I just need to two lines above the books. Or you could use the clothes as a reference and just put one line below the clothes. And it will give us 70. Okay? So I hope you understand this question. So this is the answer for part C. And this is the answer for part C. Okay. So I hope you understand my explanation for this question. Testing us on our skills in graph and pie chart. Okay. Even though this question could look really hard, it's actually really simple to solve it when you understand what the question is testing us on. So... Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!